What is going on guys? Welcome to your 17th tutorial in Java game development. And in this tutorial we're going to be making a frame, making it full screen, but we're going to be doing it a little teeny bit different than last time because this time we're going to be needing to create a buffer strategy. And if you forgot from like tutorial 14 or something, this is a thing that takes away flickering. So this is uh, pretty important. So let's go ahead and make a little comment right now and say make frame full screen because in essence that's all this is going to do. So public void and just name it set full screen look good and of course it's going to take display mode DM as a parameter and now let's build the body of this baby. Build the body of this baby. I like how that just rolled off my tongue. So let's go ahead and make J frame f equal new j frame and let's go ahead and set that frame undecorated and set it to true and this means it doesn't have title bars or scroll bars or nothing like that and what else do we want to do f set ignore repaint true and f set resizable false so they can't resize it and let's see oh another thing we need to do this is pretty important in order to make it full screen get access to the video card set full screen window and as parameter this takes what do you want to set full screen well that frame we just made so set the frame full screen and what this does right here is take that frame which is pretty much just like a little window on your computer and it makes it full screen on your entire monitor pretty awesome huh now let's go ahead and um, write a simple if statement to check like last time if display mode excuse me display mode not equal to null and video card dot is display change supported pretty much if you can where the heck did that come from there we go if display change is supported this pretty much means can you change your display mode what do you want to do we want to try to take that video card and set display mode equal to DM oh, I already filled it in for us and if we can't do that then we just need to catch an error exception EX looks good so now outside your if block one last thing you want to do for this method is you need to create that buffered strategy and I told you what it was and it sounded pretty confusing how to do all this but now what we can do is take that um, frame that we made and create buffer strategy and the number of buffers is two and with two buffers if you remember we can do the page flipping one so instead of just having one buffer to draw off screen and copy it on our window we can have two pretty much separate pieces of panels to draw off screen and then we can just draw one point to it and that's what shows up on our screen then when the other one is ready have that one show up on our screen and instead of writing all that code about what buffer we want to show up on our screen the only thing we need to do is throw in a couple methods and this is one of them so this creates your buffer strategy and it, when two it means there are two different buffers to show up well not to show up two different buffers outside your monitor that we're going to be using and well that's it for this method really so now aside from this method what we need to do is we need to get graphics to display and in essence later on in another class we're gonna take that graphics object which is G and we're gonna set it equal to something but what we're gonna set it equal to um, is kind of dependent on what we're gonna be writing now so let's go ahead and make um, we will set graphics object equal to this and by this I don't mean the keyword this I mean whatever this method returns that's where we're going to be setting that graphics object equal to so public graphics 2d need the, that d to be capitalized since it's going to return a graphics 2d object since we need to set it equal to it and just name it get graphics easy enough I got like the hiccups or something it's annoying 
So get graphics, bam. So let's go ahead and get that window. W window equals VC dot get full screen window. And what this does is if I type that correctly, it stores your entire thing that's on your full screen into the object or variable W. How awesome. So now we can do things like test things on W. So if W is not equal to null, so if actually you have something you're looking at, what do we want to do? We need to get buffer. Let me make sure I type this right. Buffer strategy. Did I type that right? Yep. S and set it equal to W dot get buffer strategy. And what this does is now that we have that window and we know it's not equal or excuse me we know it has some kind of information in it we set this object buffer strategy equal to the get buffer strategy in that and this will make sense when I explain it later on but in essence what we want to do is now that we have the s set to something we can return that object so return and of course if this isn't a graphics 2D object already, we want to convert it to one. Graphics 2D S get draw graphics. So now, once we return this, and hopefully it will return this instead of, um, let's just go ahead and make else return null in case things go wrong. So now what we're going to do is have that G and we're going to set it equal to graphics 2D so now that G is going to be a graphics 2D object so now we can call graphics 2D methods on it and of course s.getDrawGraphics so that's pretty much all, is all it's doing for right now and let's see what other methods uh, we have to make update and we're actually going to be doing an update method which pretty much updates, updates the display in the next tutorial but for right now um what did we go over set full screen to change to change our window to full screen and we also made our return get graphics so we can have something to set our graphics object equal to so for now thank you guys for watching i'll explain this later once our whole entire program is built it'll make perfect sense to you but for now it's probably confusing we just need to get these methods built and out of the way so thank you guys for watching in the next tutorial we're going to be building an update and some other cool neat little methods so thank you, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.